<laughs> Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is June 30th, 2018. Uh, happy birthday, Pat. Pat's my brother. He's uh, 63 years old today. Um, so I want to wish him a happy birthday. Uh, but today, um, we're, we're up here at, at the Abbey, and we got a really special event going on today. Uh, we're processing uh, our honey that we've been gathering over the last week. Uh, we brought in about 35 boxes, um, 10 frame boxes of honey. And today I got Chef Randy and uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, they're inside the hut right now, and uh, we're getting ready to um, start the whole process going. So uh, by the grace of God, we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, all this honey processed for us today and uh, at the end of the day we'll show you how much we got. I think it's going to be around maybe about 200 gallons of it or so but we'll see. Let's go inside and uh, and see what's going on in there. Well so here we are on the inside and Ralph and Randy are, are planning their strategies over there. And we got the big Erwin Moransky here visiting with us uh, right now. So we're going to go over here right now, we're going to see what uh, Chef Randy's uh, doing over here and he's going to explain what, what his job is, role in our, in our processing. Ralph, turn around, there you go. Aren't you going to say hello, Ralph? Hello, I'm going to do my hey, job. Chef. <laughs> Chef Randy, alright, so Randy. I'm staging, I'm staging. I pull out the frames and lay them on a the conveyor. They go through the conveyor and get capped. Then it's on Ralph. Then I'm, I'm just staging and stacking. So that you're gonna put- I have to keep them going through so that at the other end, it's continuous and more efficient. If I, if I stop and none of them go through and then everybody's waiting. So uh, I am the key to the whole operation here with, the, uh, with the, getting the honey going. So you want us, are we ready to run this through? Um, I'm ready and waiting for you if you okay. stop filming. All right, let me, uh, let me walk over here and get, get, get Wreck-It Ralph going over here. All right, we turn it on. We need a bucket of water first. Yes, I know. All right, ready? All right, so we got the first two come through. Now look at this, folks. Oh, that is gorgeous. Ralph, hold that up. This and not shave this off. Beautiful. So Ralph, tell us again what's going on. All right, we'll take these after they go through the decap, and we'll hurry up, put them into the spinner. And then they just sit in there? And they just sit in there, some better than others. And then we just Keep on doing this. And then we'll do it till we fill the whole drum up. And once we fill the whole drum up, we'll close it. And then we'll turn it on. It'll spin them all out for like 15 minutes. And then after it does that, it'll pump into the tank. The clarifying tank right here. And once this fills up to a certain level, then we'll turn on the pump. It'll pump the honey that comes through the tank and pump it into our drums. And then we'll store it till we're ready to bottle it. And we'll bottle it in a um, bottle. And then we'll put it in the gift shop. And it'll be ready for everybody to come pick up. And it'll be Abby Honey. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and start doing some serious work.
And here we are. We got it all loaded up. Ralph, would you spin it? It's completely loaded up with 48 frames. And uh, we are now getting ready to turn on the, ooh, look at that, oh yeah. We're ready to turn on the extractor and it'll, it'll run for about eight minutes on one side. And even though it's a radial, I still run it on both sides, about four minutes on the other side. And when it comes out, it'll all be drained out. So we're gonna turn her on and let her run. Hi, right, Ralph, so how we do this? All right, we're gonna turn it on. And then we'll turn the rotation. And then we'll turn on the speed at about 40. And then we'll turn the timer till about 10 minutes. And I hear it working. Let's open up the lid and see. It is spinning. And then it's going to steadily pick up until it gets to the speed. As you can see, and if you look at the sides, you'll see the honey spin it off of them. And you can see how it's picking up the speed. Then the honey gathers at the bottom, and then we'll be turning on the pump in just a minute to start pumping this out. Turn the pump on now because the tank's getting full. We'll turn it to about 20. And it should be pumping out this little tank right here. I'm going to fill in here. And a clarifying tank, there it is right there. What's the purpose of the uh, that little plastic frame? The plastic frames that try to prevent some of the wax from going all the way through. Hopefully, when the honey gets to this area here, the wax will kind of stay on this side, the honey will flow through, and then go through each chamber. Gotcha. So the wax will actually catch on these perforated baffles in this tray and in that tray. And then the honey, the pure honey, because the wax floats, the honey will then travel through, through the bottom of that space right there. And then once it gets down to this tank right here, it'll go into the, um, it'll go into there. All right, so we already have some honey and wax coming through. All right, we spun it 10 minutes clockwise. Now we're going to spin it 10 minutes counterclockwise. Make sure we get all the honey out of it. This is how much we pumped from the first spin. How big is that tank? The tank is 28. <laughs> and it's all honey. Wait, wait, do that again, bro. Wait, wait, let me zoom in on you. And that's all honey. <laughs> they got a little bit of cappings on top, which the honey will settle. It'll go through the filter and into the tank and the cappings will just stay on top. And we'll just scoop them off. All right, we're gonna turn on the pump and we're gonna pump all the honey out here into that drum. And the grace of God, it's gonna work. <laughs> it's the first time. <laughs> All right, when we originally turned this uh, pump on, like I said, the grace of God was hoping it worked. Well, it did work, but it was running backwards. So I reversed the polarity on the um, thing from fall, from reverse to forward on the motor here, and now it's going to pump like it was designed to do. And you'll see it coming through the holes right here and then going into the pump. I mean, going into the barrel. You can see it starting to flow through. See, they all nice and clean. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them back in the boxes. 
after we put them in a box, we're going to stick them outside and the bees will finish cleaning them out. And that's a process you'll love to see. That was a pretty successful uh, tryout with the uh, in the honey hut. We're feeding the bees. Um, everybody's happy in here. I'm happy. Chef Randy, he's still here with me. Uh, Greg and Ralph, he had to get on home. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Ow, that one just stung me. Look. But uh, everything is going good. <laughs> I realized yesterday evening after we finished cleaning up in here. Uh, and, and getting everything all straightened up, that I never made a closing to the video. I never showed you, you know, what we what we were able to to extract from all that honey. So here it is, Sunday morning. I'm back here, and I, I, I want to close out the video as well. I need to come up here and take care of all the, the the cappings that have all the honey in it as well. So we wound up. We had four of these drums. These are 30 gallon drums. And uh, they're pretty, they're, you know, I'm not saying there's 30 gallons in each one, there might be 28 in each one of these. Um, so we have four of these drums, and, uh, and then all these buckets around here um, have the, uh, the honey and the wax mixture together. There's a lot of cappings um, that, that went through uh, the uncapper because it's a chain uncapper. It doesn't cut the, uh, the wax in one, in strips. It actually just drags the cappings across the uh, the cone and it gets all mixed up in the honey. So you have a tremendous amount of cappings in the wax. But if you let the, the wax sit for a day or three, it, it all rise up to the top and you'll skim it off and eventually you're gonna get down to that, it'll be all pure, clean honey. And, and none of this has had heat applied to it, so it's all raw, pure honey. So uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and, and get all my, my wax cappings together and put them all together so that I can uh, start melting that stuff down and putting all of our um, honey uh, into the drums and, and then eventually to get into our bottle. So I think we wound up with, yeah, it's, it's around 140 gallons. Yeah, I was wanting for 200, but 140, that's, that's really nice. And it, and it really is the average for us here in Louisiana, four gallons per hive. Uh, it is, is an average um, return on, on, on the honey. We had 35 boxes and four times 35, that's 140. So we're, we're right there. We're right there at the, at the average. So all in all, it really was a very good honey harvest. I still have lots more honey out in the field that I'll be harvesting in October. I'll let them finish uh, drawing it and capping it. And, uh, and then we'll bring that up here in, in October. I don't know how much that, that is, but we'll find out. So I think, all in all, like I said, we did really good. I'm very happy God's blessed us with, with, with this and, uh, and um, the effort of the bees. So that's all I have for you. Thanks to Ralph and, and Randy for the tremendous help uh, getting all this stuff together. Randy, particularly, the whole week he was here with me gathering the box. It's a lot of work, uh, but we got it all done. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here. Until the next video. <laughs> so here's a little demonstration of how I remove the wax that's sitting on top of the honey in our buckets, and uh, then revealing the honey that's underneath it. It's really cool.